everybody I'm just leaving a person's house over here in Vancouver Washington and you will not believe all the junk that I bought I I know better than to buy lots of stuff I know nothing about and that sounds funny I know better than to do something I know nothing about check it out I'll show you what I got oh my gosh boxes and boxes of train accessories and some other weirdo stuff a lot of this is really old. There's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. I'll definitely do a video of all of this stuff. Let you see it all. All right, let's check this out. This is box number one in the train and miscellaneous things. Got a Matchbox Collectibles here, a Motor Trend Collection. I don't know how old this is. A little older, let's look on the bottom. 1999, all right, let's party. And here's another one, Motor Trend. Look at that, that's the old T-Bird. Let's see, were those in focus? Let's see, I think so, all right. Bachman Railroad Accessories. Bachman Railroad Accessories, okay. All right, look at this. Got a couple of train layout store thingies already put together. Got some not put together like this one, two-story house end scale. That is a teeny tiny scale. Bachman on that. Another matchbox car. Oh, that's nice. El Camino. All right. And let's see. Oh, look at this. This is some sort of a random truck. I don't think my focus is working. Hmm. Try this button over here. Come on. All right, now. How about now? Yeah, that's better. All right, there's the red dump truck. There's a little Tootsie toy in this box. All right. I think I need to go over here. All right, let's see. What is this? I don't know. Some sort of train accessory. Not, not enough light over there. Okay, let's get these things out of here. We got the another thing, another house. And here is a... Ooh, this is a mid-century modern contemporary house. Pretty cool. And here's another house built up. HO scale, I believe. What else? There's a box with some stuff in it. Look at that. It's a train caboose. Oh, we did get a train. Yay, look at that. We got a train. Right there. What is it? I don't know what kind it is. But there it is. Made in Macau. Probably not too old, then. A couple of cars to go with it. That's cool. That's cool. This one's missing some parts there inside there maybe in this box over here oh what is this look at that it's an in-scale pickup kit made out of made out of uh, lead i suspect wow interesting interesting in this box there are people petite people 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 oh and look at this there is a biking truck i love the little vikings but these are the little ones end scale biking end scale here's a north american van lines probably ho scale oh a tamika look at that there's a tamika in there and there's the school bus from the Lindbergh line pretty neat assortment here's a cigar box oh red riviera i don't think i have that one that's cool there's a big old oh looks like a covered bridge but it's some sort of a building. Very cool. Petite people. Oh, look at this. This is neat. This is real heavy. I think it's brass. It is real heavy. Denver to Chicago Trucking Company. That's pretty cool. More people. A covered wagon. Train wheels. More people. Nope, those are trays. What's this over here? This is 14 stumps. Okay, so if you want woods, what's this? I think this is, oh, what is that? I think it's wheels. Wheels in that box. And a part, and a Tamika part. That's Tamika. This is Bachman accessories, little cars, little teeny tiny cars, and scale power bumper. Oh, US mail. Isn't that cute? US mail. Union Pacific, I think that goes with this train over here. Look at that. We got a train. We got a train. More train cars. What's this? Highway Miniatures. Well, that's pretty cool. That's something old, I suppose. That looks like a part from a Tomica. And that. And what's this? This is some sort of lead tank, isn't it? This thing weighs a ton. Brass, I guess. Is that what weighs a lot? Brass. Plastic models. More people. What is that? 
engineer and fireman. Okay, those are tiny. All right. Here is a train car. A lot of them missing the front wheels. Don't they just have all four wheels on them? More people. This one. Oh, these are people in a park, and that's a slide. Oh, we got another Lindbergh. Another, another mini Lindbergh in there. And an N scale train. There's a few train cars in here in the N scale. More people, more people. What's this? This is a Greyhound bus. But what is it? It's Spockman train set. Greyhound bus. And what's that? There's another little car. A lot of little cars. A lot of little cars. Tons of them. Hmm. All right. Oh, here's another very heavy truck. Very heavy truck. Yes. Oh, look at this. Another Viking. Yay, another Viking model. Fantastic. I have a bunch of those in my collection. Here's a neat looking AMX. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, and two more Vikings. Yay. A couple more Vikings for sure and something else in there. Had some Tootsie toys. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Some sort of part from a train, I suspect. And there's another brass piece. Not very great shape, but I don't know what it is. And here's an American North American band lines. Look like the whole truck there. A couple of those, actually. And uh, custom AMX. Look at that. Custom AMX. Hmm. All right. Some parts. Here's a boat. Oh, that's a boat. Chris Craft, and that is a Tootsie toy. I've got one of those around here already. Here's another house. Another house. Another house. And I think there's a train in there. Oh, dropping the train car over here. Back here. Got a nice rural freight passenger st station AHM kit. Hmm. I'm not much for building stuff, so. What's this? This is hand-decorated, pre-assembled, American prototype. Hmm, what is it, though? It's fences. Okay, it's fences. That's pretty cool. Fences. Some people, people, people. Oh, horses. Horses. Look at that. And cows. Hmm, train stuff. Oh, and another one of these super heavy brass trucks. These things are crazy. I don't know what they are. They're heavy. What's this? Oh, yeah, one of these Mercury. Yeah, I've had one of these before. These are real popular. Die cast. And what's over here? Another train car. Why do all the train cars have only one set of wheels on them? That doesn't make any sense. Need to be repaired, I suppose. Little people. Oh, look at that. It's a Matchbox Super Fast a trailer. That's pretty neat. I wonder if the roof of that thing. Lots of people. More brass. Oh, yay, here's that Matchbox truck. We have a box for this in another box. And there is the back, and it's in great shape. So that's, that's a nice thing to have. Very nice. Wow, what a bunch of stuff. What a bunch of stuff. Apparently these go on those trains. I don't know how that works, but we'll figure that out. Brass stuff. And I think that's it for this box. Tootsie toy. Nice little Tootsie toy. That's a neat one. Very neat. And a Volkswagen. Oh, wait a minute. Here's another Mercury. Mercury tractor in there. Those are neat. What did it say? Gibbs Metal Miniatures. Okay, well, that's what it is then. That was Mercury. Hmm. Very cool. I think that is all one Hot Wheels car in there. All right, that's about it. We'll move on to the next box. All right, three, two, one. All right, second box, check it out. Look what we've got. Let's see, cigar box car on top. Ooh, red red galaxy, that's nice. Oh, here's another one. Red Riviera, oh my gosh, there were three red cigar box cars in this lot already. And what else have we got? Oh, look at this, what is this? This is an AHN, AHM train car. Hmm, very nice. A Santa Fe, whatever that is. I don't know anything about trains yet, but I will. And, ooh, look at this. A brass train. Ooh. This is supposedly the most valuable thing in the lot. I don't know anything about these trains, but look at this. Isn't that cool? A brass train. Ooh, I see them on eBay for like a few bucks. Quite a few bucks. That's good. Hopefully pay for this lot. And there is, look at that. Nice upside down train car. And another train car. And another train car. 
and another train car and another train car I always wanted a train looks like I have one now and another what is this and a roundhouse products detailed scale model oval and gondola hmm let's see what that is opening up the box I think Got hard to do with one hand but check it out I'll get this open open open, open. oh it is a train now I think some of these are kits that you put together but that is a nice train thing in there. So we've got a couple of those, quite a few of those. Oh, look at this. Here's a train engine, but it's broken. Oh, you know, I think I found the part for that earlier. It's over here. Now yeah, let's see, where is the part? There it is. I think this part goes on this train. Haha. -ha. Keep those together. All right, what do we got here? We got more people. More people. We got a Tyco. Hmm, I don't know what's in that box. Let's take a look. Oh, just another one of those things. Okay. All right, we got a bunch of this stuff. Look at that. We got one of these, one of these, and another one. Roundhouse. And another Tyco. Of course, when I get done with all these, dividing them all up. Oh, American Muscle. Hey, what's this? A Malibu. Or, no, GTO. If I cry out loud, GTO. Johnny Light and Classic Gold. A beautiful 69 RSS Camaro. Well, that's kind of cool. It's a variety. Oh, Gangster. Gang, gangbusters. Model kit. MPC. Bullet ridden. Getaway. Screeching. Police pursuit. How cool is that? I don't know what's in there. Let's see. Here's a airplane. I think it's an airplane model. Oh, upside down. There we go. A Sunland 372. 72nd scale. And what else is in here? Oh, look at that. Another Viking model. There it is. A little Viking from Germany. I always used to call them Viking because it's spelled with a W. There's a little mark. Pretty sure that is. I love these things. Put that over there. Another one of these. All right. And something in a plain wrapper. And what do we got? We got one of these. This brand is... TML, the Virginian 40 ton single sheath boxcar. Boxcar, and what do we got here? Another boxcar, and where do we got Tyco? Cool. Oh, and another box for one of these kind of things. Caterpillar Motor Grader, the Gibbs. These are kind of weird. I run into these once in a while. And then we got another box with a brass caboose. I think it's brass. Brass or lead, something like that. Caboose. And these are empty boxes, which is kind of weird. And in here is trains. Look at that. More trains and some track. Hmm. No engines, I fear. Just trains. Maybe they go with that other engine over there. Hmm. All right. Well, that's this box. Now it's time to clean up this mess. So I got three more, three or four more boxes of all this stuff. All right, this one plane box inside that plane box is a kit for building a train thing looks like a passenger car based on this top piece yeah and the side pieces look at that very cool it's all the stuff you need to build a wooden train wow parts and screws and stuff that is very cool I don't know if it's all in there hope it is probably is put that back in there that's pretty cool what's in this box Oh yeah, the brass, we got that one already. And let's see what's in this plane box. Oh, it is a plane kit. Big old Sunland kit. Hmm. Looks like it's all sealed in the baggie, I think. There's this decal sheet underneath. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Look at that, that is pretty cool. All right, box number three, and what we have in here, we have this one small box of little miniature cars, which is really cool. And there's some things in here I've never seen before, like this, some sort of, well, let's see. You know, I'm always fighting with this focus here. Let's go this way, okay. Three, two, one. All right, in this box is some really cool little miniature cars. Look at this comet. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. It is Miniature Cars Division 1 Mini Cars Export. Division Turismo. Interesting. 
has a few of those in here. This one is, yep, yeah, same brand. It has little cars in there. Make a, we'll make a further video on all of this stuff. It seems to have cars on. There's this one, the car is out, but it's a Studebaker, so we should be able to find that. Look at this one, cool little Jeep, very nice. There's another. Ooh, that's nice, Ford Edsel convertible. Hmm, can't wait to open that and see what's inside. And here, a little, little truck. The rest of them are open. And what we look for in here is anything that is a Viking. Those are the best models. They actually have some value compared to just these train models. I think this one, this one's not too glossy, made in Germany, but it's not a Viking. It's a different model, but it sure looks nice. Look at that. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is a Viking here. Let's see if you can see that on here. Come on. My visor back down here. Here it is. Let's see. Viking Germany. There it is. Viking Germany. Those are good cars. I have a nice collection of Viking cars. There's some other neat cars in here that are just a cheaper train car. Can we see what that is? There we go. Volkswagen limousine, Hong Kong. Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. What a giant hand in this box. Oh, look at that. Mercedes. All right. Some cool, neat stuff in here. Opal. I don't think there's any more Viking cars. Oh, these are all kind of cheesy, cheap models. This one's cool. Yeah, they're all neat. They are all pretty darn neat. What's this? A little race car, that's funny. That's a hilarious bunch of cars, really. What is this? This has got a brand on it. Mini cars. Okay, that, I think that, yeah, there we go, Studebaker. That's the one that goes in the box over here. One of these guys over here. Okay, back to the box. I think that's all we need to look at. Oh, that's funny. I said that? Is that what that is? Oh, that's neat, made in Hong Kong. How cool is that? It's teeny tiny. All right, let's go back to the box here. Zoom back out. I'm just gonna zoom in. Here we go. Zoomed out. All right, what do we got? We've got a house, American scale buildings. All right, we got American flyer, some sort of train thing. Oh, look at that. Some sort of a, a uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't just call it off because I'm not a train expert. AHM, how about that? God, oh, these are kits. Oh, dear. Can you imagine building all this stuff? Holy smokes. Freight station with platform. Wow. Oh, great. Here's another N scale train car. No trains, so though. I guess he sold the N scale trains. Those are quite popular, I guess. And plenty of more model kits. These Urich model kits. Not particularly valuable. Trains in miniature. All right. Some more houses. Oh, like two houses in there. American style N scale buildings. Hmm. All right, and another one here. Wow, these kind of cheesy looking, those buildings. What's this? Brinkley, for the exacting builder and HO gauge. What's in this box? Okay, so this is a kit. It's not been put together completely, but it's been started. Wow. Oh, and wood and stuff. That's cool. i put this all together. Oh, man. A wooden train. Holy smokes. That looks like a lot of work. All right. I never was good with kits. We got a TML. Got some more of these guys. Roundhouse products. I think those are kits as well. Silver Streak Deluxe Kit. My specific HO. Hola. Another building. Kind of a cute little building. Look at that. A little house in the country. What's this? What is this? Oh, this is how those cars came. Some of the chibi plastic cars. Interesting. Oh, here's a, another building. That one's kind of neat. And we got more of these. And another one of those. And more buildings. Bachman N scale buildings. Got a garage trust bank. Oh, drive-in hamburger stand. Very nice. Very nice. So tiny, though. I wish they were... I wish they were at, uh, the next size up. 
Let's size up. Oh, we got another one of these, the Grader. I had some of these ones. They're really popular. Really popular. Look at those. And Burton's Men's Fashions. All set up, ready to go for your train. All right, another Gilbert American. Dusty. Just a dusty old train car by Gilbert. Hmm. Kind of neat. Kind of dusty. American Flyer by A.C. Gilbert. Very cool. All right. All right, here we go with another exciting box of railroad train accessories. More Bachman buildings. This one, a modern ranch house with a garage and a little tiny car. How cool. And this is a box with some sort of uncompleted caboose kit. All right. And we got Atherin, Atherin trains in miniature. What is these? What are these? Oh, nice box cars. Okay. Maybe I will have a train someday. Another one. Another one. And a Silver Streak Deluxe Kit. Oh, dear. More kits. Who builds these things? Look at all these. Look at all this nicely put together. It's a wooden train kit. That's so fantastic. I'd like to know more about that. Oh, look at this. Chrysler 300. I don't know if it's in good shape in there, but I have a, several of those for sale right now. Got another one of those. Oh, this one looks nice. New York Central. Look at that. From Milwaukee Hobby Center. Hmm. Milwaukee. What do we got here? We got another train. Why are these all upside down? I don't know. And, oh, we got another one of these highway miniatures. This is a kit as well. A little teeny, teeny, tiny kit. What's this? 12 telephone poles. Hmm, come in handy. And more telephone poles. And more telephone poles. I think this fellow, he, old timer. Hmm, Central Valley. What is in there? Is it a kit? Is it a built up? Mystery is killing me. Ah, it is a kit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is a kit. Oh, my goodness. Who does that anymore? I don't know. That is so crazy. What is this? Okay, let's get this out. We got another one of these. And we got another iron. Trains in miniature. What's in there? I don't know. That looks like it should be like trained um, engine, but I don't think that's what's in there. No, nope, just some pieces of a kit. Pieces of a kit. Maybe that's just the picture on the box. Derek's car kit. Okay, yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, another one of these. I've got a bunch of those. And it's just, oh great, another one of these guys. These are neat. These are neat. These are really popular too. Cool looking construction vehicles. Another one of these. And another one of these. Silver Street kit. Very cool. And they just keep coming. And they just keep coming. This one is a 50-foot plug door box car. All right. And there's a big blue box over here with something in it heavy. Put it over here by the sink. Hmm. Oh, look at that. There's a train engine in here. Yay, train engine in this box. That is so cool. I don't know what it is. Oh, here we go. United. Is this what it is? Pittman DC motor is used in this model. 4750 United scale models. That's probably something good. All right, here's an empty box lid or box bottom. Another American Gilbert. Okay, it's hard to do this looking through my magnifier. What's this? Some sort of kit for a building kit. Okay, put that over there. More kit, okay, and over there. What's this? Brinkley models, the early century line, exact scale model in HO gauge. Lettered signs, detailed precision made parts, baggage, mail. Let's look at that. Is this drawing over here? It is another kit. Oh dear, look at that. That's cool. That is another kit. So many kits. Saving up for his retirement, I believe, but he did not make it to retirement. One matchbox. That's nice, and that's a sink over there. Don't look at that. What else is in here? Another one of these, another couple of days. Let me get over here. All right, another box. More of those, more of that. Tyco. Silly. This feels like a box of parts. No, it's another kit of some sort. This one made of metal. 
the metal kit. Hmm. And I got a model here, a 32 Ford Victoria model, and a 36 Ford customizing kit, and a Chevy panel, another train car, and one of those. Something here it looks interesting. Oh, this is heavy. Let's take that out. And a couple of this, more, more buildings. I want a Jiffy car wash, and another Sealy. Put that over here. And what's that? I don't know. And a big train box down there. And then this Pennsylvania scale models. Fairbanks Morse 1600. Oh, look at that. We got a. Not the thing that was in there, but it's at least a train. It's a train engine. I didn't know nothing about these, but at least that one's cool. Kind of beat up, but very cool. Let's see what's in here. Oh no. Oh wow. This is some sort of kit, I guess. It's got a motor and stuff. Very heavy. Very cool. Got a lot of markings and things. Okay. It's a diesel switcher made in Tokyo, Japan. Ten Shoto. That should be a good item. That. And that is it for this box. All right, we'll go into detail more later on all this stuff after I get it all out and organize it. I like to organize, get everything right, going. We're down to the last large box. Got a couple of random things after this. Factory Complex by Bachman. Model power, two-story scale building kit. Look at that. That's cool. Engage. All this is Engage. Igles Church. Helogen Fabric Factory. Woolworth store, Miss Mary's Millinery, and a fantastic hotel, I believe. Look at that. That is so cool. I love this stuff. I always love these little buildings. Let's light them up. Model Power, Model Power, and Bachman. What do we got? We got a train kit by Tyco. Pretty neat. Oh, we got a burned out house. Okay, burned out house. Very nice. My Model Power. Right here. And what's this one? Building a cleaning company. Oh, very nice. Okay, that's cool. And what's this? Volmer. Volmer is a bridge. I think it might be a bridge too far. And what's this? Oh my goodness. It's an old timer's olds model kit. You think there's really a model kit in there? Let's look. No, let's not look at the sink. Okay, let's stop looking at the sink. All right, combination station. This one, Masterpiece Series AHM. Another one, this one's sealed. Combination station AHM, well, maybe not sealed. And what do we got here? I got another Helgen. Oh, factory of some sort, pretty neat. And here we got another AHM train, very cool. Can't wait to set up a train. I wouldn't know how to make one work. Here's a box of miscellaneous. It looks like really cheesy miscellaneous, or corny perhaps. And another box of miscellaneous. Hmm. Don't know what that is. What do we got? Two story brick building. Oh, Patton Foundry. That's neat. AHM. Ah, more right down here. The model power firehouse. That's neat. That's a neat one. And last couple more. YMCA house and a Judy's boutique with Coca Cola sign on top. Very cool. All right, and what's this? Rite Aid Drugs, okay. All right, and Modern Church. This one, Atlas, and L'Entrat Restaurant. Okay, French, maybe, Hardware Supermarket. Look at all these buildings, holy smokes, and they're all kits, for crying out loud. And they're all too small for anything I like, but it's pretty neat. There's another one of those. What's this one, looks neat. Aha. What is that? The Weekly Herald. It's a newspaper building. Okay. Fake news goes on there, probably. All right. Factory. Holland. Iron. Very nice. Barn silo and, and chicken coop. Oh, yes. Very nice. And this one is... This one is a trackside building set. Hmm. Detailed water spout and pipe. And this... Centennial Street. Oh, this looks like an entire street. Oh my goodness. Made in West Germany. And what's this? Another Rite Aid. And uh, three suburban houses. 
Railroad Hotel, Erie RR Station, and Star Journal Building, molded in four colors. And that is all that's in this box, rather large box. Got just a few more items Three, left in this two, lot. One. Okay, here's the last box in this lot. It's the miscellaneous stuff. More train American Gilbert. A couple of box cars looks like. Oh, here's what we got. We've got a really nice let's get my magnifiers on here. We've got a really nice Dodge Charger. That's from the Lindbergh series, the model kits. I think there's a couple of Lindberghs in here. We've got a couple of these crazy things. Fairly new American Muscle kit. That's kind of neat. That might be something I could actually put together. There's two of those in here. 37 cord and a 40 woody. That's pretty neat. And let's see, another one of these Ahern train boxes. And those have, what do those have in them? Those have kits. Oh Lord. They have kits of some sort. Hmm, flatbed. All right, maybe it's not a kid. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Let's see, Golden Spike Series. What's that? Golden Spike Series. Definitely a kit this time. So funny. You just put your own, put your own little train together instead of them doing. That's neat. Okay, back to this box. Now here's some miscellaneous. I've got another Lindbergh model. This time the camper. Will it focus? That's the question. That's too much stuff in the background, you know? Any focus lock. Okay, how about that? Ah, that's better. And this is a Lindbergh, the little Jeepster. And what's this? Oh, I don't know. EFSI. Oh, that's a Holland. I've got a few of those around here. And this, EFSI again from Holland. Cool. That's neat. I got a little collection of those. Oh, and this, I think, is a Marks. Yep, yeah, marks. It's a little marks. Get over here by the light. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Tow truck. A lot of miscellaneous but good stuff in here. That's a Tamika. And there's a Hot Wheels. I don't know what that's doing in there. A little tiny truck. Look at that thing. It's a little tiny thing. And I think there's another marks. Yep. Yeah. Another marks. Oh, look at a Matchbox Ferrari. In good shape, too. And this is a Tomika. You never know what you're gonna get in these kind of lots. They, I didn't really know anything about the train stuff, so I just, you know, made an offer on all of it. Probably paid too much, but that's okay. Nice Husky. Oh, a nice Greyhound bus from the Tomika. Got something on the back windows there, though. Yeah, something's wrong there. Got all goobered up. And this is a Husky. These cr the chrome campers are always messed up. Oh, this one's real played with. All right, and this one is, I think, a, a, uh, a cheapy. And this, Tamika, cute little bus, Hino bus, I think. Mitsubishi Fuso bus. All right, that's a nice one. Another Tamika. This is another EFSI, missing the back. That probably, oh, Highway Miniatures. Interesting little kit. A lot of kits in this lot. This is even a kit, alloy kit. 41 Plymouth Coupe with engine. Hmm. Very cool. And what's this? Ah, oh, this is the, yep, yeah, I needed this. This is the front of the Matchbox Semi that was in the other box. And this is, I think, a Tootsie toy. Yep, yeah, Tootsie. And another Tamika. Nice one. I got a lot of Tamikas. If you'd like to buy like 300 Tamikas, let me know. What is this? What is this? This is a Zalmex GMC Motorhome. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. And this, I think, is another EFSI. Best Box from Holland. Okay. Best Box. Crazy. Crazy. We're almost down to the bottom, thankfully. It's another Marks truck, I think. Another Marks? Hmm. Can't really tell. No markings on that truck, but it feels like a Marks truck. Nice Chevy, early 60s Chevy. And another Husky. Well, sadly, that one's beat up too. And, oh, the cab for the other Tomika piece was missing. And I think it's another EFSI. 
No, best box hauling. Best box. Hmm, crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. And last, I think almost last, is this big old heavy duty Shuko Piccolo Corrupt dump truck. Huh. With corrosion on it. That's not good. But it's kind of neat. Super heavy. And that, and that, and that is everything that was in this fantastic lot. Oh, wait a minute. Did we open the golden spike? Yeah, we did open the golden spike. Yep, you're right. That is all for this. Any of the more interesting pieces I will be doing individual videos on as I organize, clean up, and put this stuff to good use, finding new homes for it. Not the banana, just the toys. And there we are in the kitchen of the toy car collector. That's right, the kitchen of the toy car collector. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And here's my outro message to you.